All right, back on Morning Line. I was asking Leland during the break whether he's coming down for the 4th of July or if your son Taylor or lovely wife will be coming down here. I'm going to have a front row seat in my living room watching News Channel 5. So you'll be watching Ben and me and uh -huh. Taylor. Or, you know, who's going to be down here? I think, uh, I mean, rather, um, Carrie's going to be down here. Yeah, uh, be Ben Car and Carrie are on site hosting uh, from downtown. Okay, and I'll be on some riser somewhere. I don't know. It's, mm -hmm. So you'll be home and... Uh, I'll be home watching. And if I'm... If I'm on point here, there'll be something that you'll pulled off the grill, maybe, or yeah, trying to decide what, what what's <laughs> up. We're still uh, a couple of days out, so I got to decide what's up. So I'm the same way. Yeah, yeah. we Lena's had a great a cook truck. on Talk of the Town yesterday. I'm, I'm, I'm debating whether or not to order his mac and cheese. Yeah, oh, he had Jennifer mac and cheese with, with what? oh, he he made salmon on the year. Okay, uh, but he had mac and cheese with brisket in it. That just sounds... And a little pepper seasoning. Did you, oh, was it... <laughs> yeah, good stuff. And that's actually high praise from Leland. Now, you guys have yeah. some great cooks mm -hmm. come on, but when he really raves about what they brought on... Yeah. Today, you, you we've got another uh, barbecue recipe with a tropical twist, so that's today at 11 a.m. Tropical, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, you know, grilling is something to come about. Uh, all right, so let's just... Is this weather that we've had now, I mean, I always try to compare to what we had last year. Just this extreme heat, I, we seem to have fewer and fewer spring days these days. It seems mm -hmm. to go quickly from, from winter to summer. With yeah. Little, I, do we have a typical spring this time around? Yeah, I would say, you know, probably a little bit better than in some other years. But, you know, we did, for the most part, make the, the jump into the nice spring weather into the heat. Normally, and I don't have exact dates in front of me, but normally, our first 90 degree day of the year is late May. Uh, let's estimate okay. around May 29th or May, May, May 30th. By this time, uh, this May, we had already had six or seven 90 degree days by that point. Yeah, which could make a, a bad recipe for drought, but we've also had pretty good rainfall anyway. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. You and I have been out mowing our lawn more than we typically want to. Maybe. We, we I mean, do, although I will say in the last couple of weeks, it's been an, it's been an issue. And okay. I, I'm kind of like in line with Nashville right now where there were some people who got two to three inches of rain over the weekend. Nashville didn't get anything, and so here we are in the, the, the heat, the, mm -hmm. the heart of growing season, and Nashville only picked up 0.88 for June. Okay, that's And not so we, every Thursday, the, there is a drought monitor that, put, that is put out for the whole country. And it had been not, not much showing up over Tennessee until last week. And so maybe 40, 50 percent is what we call abnormally dry right now. We do have a surplus of rainfall for the year, but we are now three inches below normal for the month right? of June. And so that's problematic here in June oh, yeah. growing season. And then that catches up to you later. And the thing is, when it does rain, and I don't know if, again, this is just a trend or maybe I didn't notice in the past, when it rains here, it rains hard. I mean, from someone who's come from Oregon where you have the light rain that goes all day long and it's gray, here you get, some days it rains all day long. But I mean, when it comes down, Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Your wipers don't even clear your windshield that's coming down so hard. Yes. It seems like Tennessee now gets torrential downpours when it rains. It, nothing comes light and easy. It's like, and mm -hmm. then it's gone, and then we've got to worry about flash floods yeah. and all that stuff. There is more of that. Now, uh, there is, some people don't like to say it, but there's climate change I'm going on. I'm sick of people that don't want to so say that. People, yeah, yeah, I know. You know what it ticks me off? Yeah. And I know you're in the news business, so you guys have to walk the line because we have idiot viewers mm -hmm. that think that this doesn't exist. If you don't think climate change is happening, you're wrong. Yeah. I, know, I know you got it, and you, you, I speak for myself. Yes. But I'm sorry. If you don't see it happening, mm -hmm. you're clueless. Yeah. And when I'm, you I'm look at I'm, places like Miami and some of the coastal cities in a red state there that is building up the city because yeah. of erosion, Right. And, and, and rising tides, that's climate change. Now, you may want to debate the causes, and that's a different issue, and okay? I'll, and I'll give but you that. not yeah. saying that it's happening is, and I know you got to walk the line. Just because there's some people out there who don't believe in it, I don't mm -hmm. understand why you have to walk the line and say, well, you, why? Yeah, Just well, tell them. I, this is it. Yes. I, 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 I still do. So, and that's the freedom of your show. Because we don't want to alienate anyone. And the beauty of not alienate uh, 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 any uh, uh, viewers that are show. wrong. I mean, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Climate change is occurring. Yes. We can debate the causes of it, mm -hmm. okay? That's where yes. it seems like more of the debate. Now, for better or for worse, we're, we, you know, we just see this 100 degrees 
First time in 10 years. First okay. time in 10 years, now, yes. it's happened before, yeah. so you can say. So uh, you have told me in the past that what we see happening can be cyclical. Right. But we're seeing things that we've never seen before as well. And that goes back to your point on the rain. So they actually track things like that. So one of the things that they're noticing now is that there are more days with torrential downpours that can lead to flash flooding. So part of the deal with a warming climate is that warmer air holds more moisture, and so with more moisture when we get the rain we've always had rain though when it's raining cats and dogs the, the right. farmers have been saying that for years and for centuries right. but we've got more days like that now with a warming climate with more days with downpours not just here but in many parts of the country and part of that is a warming climate Okay, so that's so you are as so that goes back to the point you were making is yes, you are seeing more days with downpours, so torrential downpours, and and that can create more erosion, um, uh, the flash flood. Uh, that that can lead to flash flooding, or especially localized flash flood. What we've been promoting a lot lately with the weather with you guys is the the weather call. Is yes, that, weather call. Talk just about that and why we're pushing that again. I I think it's fantastic. It is I a mean, fantastic it's, it's a, service. I, I have it, and if you have it on your cell phone. It's interesting. I mean, it, it calls because it knows where I live, but I could be on vacation and it'll call and say, well, it looks like our dogs at home are getting rained on right now, mm -hmm. but it's, it's handy. So it, it is just very remind handy. folks what it, you can sign up for and how, how valuable that okay. is. Okay. Weather Call is a service that for some of you is an introduction. For a lot of you, it's a reintroduction. And even though you may have not heard the name Weather Call, if you're like me, I have been still getting Weather Call for over a decade. Yeah. And so my, my service now went away. There are many of you right. that even though you didn't hear it on News Channel 5, you still renewed your subscription annually. So this is a subscription service that is $12 a year. You can put two phone numbers in, maybe a house phone, maybe a cell phone, and then when the place that you point out, maybe work, maybe home, then when that home is under a warning, you get a phone call. One of the things that they're doing to enhance it this time, before weather call was always based on severe storm warnings, tornado warnings put out by the National Weather Service. It will still do that, but sometimes there are some stronger storms that may be just below the threshold for a severe thunderstorm warning. So when warranted, some of those storms may also prompt a severe, not a severe storm warning, but some of those th storms just below the threshold may prompt a weather call. So in the past, you only got weather call if a warning was issued. I got you. That happens now, but you may also get some enhanced calls That's cool. that let you know, okay, this may not be a warned storm, but there is a strong storm headed your way. Yeah, I've had it for a while, and it took a while before it transitioned for a long time. I still had Ron House's voice on it. Yes. Because he, he voiced it. I'm not sure who voices it. Uh, it well, it in the, for, right after Ron, it was Bree and myself. Okay, that's And it. so with the, uh, the the new setup, it will be uh, me, Bree, and Nikki D Good. that will have the phone calls coming well, your way. And it's great because you recognize the voice. But it's just funny because Ron had been gone for a while, but we hadn't transitioned. But it was yes. nice. Yeah. You got Ron House's voice on it. So there now it's out. just Mr. Voice. It's but Mr. That's, <laughs> that's it. That's going to change. <laughs> hey, we'll check. Well, good. I uh -huh. think I, I wanted yeah. to mention that. Let's take one quick call from Ed. Ed, good morning. Hi, Ed. Hey, Ed. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, uh, our Senator Marsha Blackburn uh, doesn't believe uh, that climate change is happening, and she's on Fox News all the time expressing how stupid she is. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to talk politics, but I'll say this, Ed. Um, yeah, like I said, there, there's still a lot of debate on the cause of climate change, but as, as we see, some of the more extreme weather just happens one yeah. way or the other. And, and I am and like, you, like you, Nick. Now, personally, I believe climate change is going on, and I believe it's going on, and it's human-induced, okay? okay? We can debate the causes of it, but, but you can't look in, in my opinion, you can't look at what's happening with storms. You can't look at what's happening with the tropical season. Yeah. You can't look at what coastal cities are doing to try to protect themselves from a rising sea and, and not say that climate change is, is not happening. happening. Right. Something yeah, look is. Look at the Arctic. Right. Look at Antarctica. Look at those icebergs. 
that, that is climate change. Now, right. you, you may say, well, it's just a cyclical thing. Well, even if it's cyclical, it, it's still happening. Yeah, and that's right. When you think climate change, climate's changed over the centuries. Yes. Okay, so the question, is, and it always has changed. So that's not a dispute. I guess the climate, the world, the planet's yeah. changed. It's just how fast and is it detrimental? And you're right. You look at the polar caps and, and all of that. Causes, you can get into the debates of it. And I didn't mean to drag you into that, but I think what you just said that was accurate. I think yeah. most, most, most and when I, people I, agree I go with out that. and about from time to time and people ask me about climate change yeah. and I have done a couple of uh, seminars and Zoom sessions this year on it and so I, I'm, I'm open to, talk, to talking about it but yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing to discuss. Yeah. Listen, just as we wrap things up then, just uh, to remind folks one more time uh oh, your microphone's scratching just a wee bit. Okay. I just want to make people that I hear you. Um, doesn't look like it's going to be bad for this uh, weekend weather-wise. Nothing super severe. It's funny. I was talking to Mike Rose yesterday. He said mm. it was, I don't know, two or three or four Fourth of July's before. Right after the fireworks, you know, wrapped up, the fire chief came in and said, guys, we got to clear out of here really fast. We're about to get hit with a massive storm. And all downtown cleared out really fast. Mike Rose, Bud Nelson, and Bob Stinnett were left in the middle of the road downtown, dragging and pulling the wires and cords we needed for the live shots. Yes. Up. He said they got out of there just in time. It was a torrential downpour. Timing was perfect. That may have been the year that I hosted it with Amy Watson and a former anchor, Steve Hayslip. Okay, did you just get out of there just we, in time and we, it just came? Well, we were able to go hide in a building <laughs> for, for a little bit till the rain ended but I remember a year being down there for our program and then right afterwards bam 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 and we don't expect that this time but there may be a little bit of rain come down or whatever something yeah. like that and, and again where it does rain this weekend there may be some spots that may get some heavy downpours okay and Leland and I are both you know chow hounds and I'm thinking right now, mm -hmm. mac and cheese and brisket. Uh, it was good. Zillas. Go back and check out the recipe yesterday from Talk of the Town. It's on the website at News Channel 5, but I want to say Zillas, they are a food truck. Oh, and yeah. uh, the one of the barbecue companies, barbecue chains, was working with them uh, to show the history of black barbecuers. Uh, and he was great. one of the ones featured. Uh, I imagine there'll be some food trucks down on this there weekend for sure. Yeah. Definitely yeah. so. Right. For the weekend. But that, and then today you said another barbecue mm -hmm. recipe that's Tropical. Yeah, it's got a tropical tw twist to it. So. Kind of like a sweeter sauce or yeah. something like that. Leland, thanks for coming on. Always good to All see right, you, my friend. We haven't done weather for a while. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Here, have a ring pot. Ah, I appreciate that. I'm good, but thank There's you. There's a whole thank bucket you. of them in there. I saw that. <laughs> yes. There's always snacks in there. Thank you, Leland. Uh -huh. All right, we'll take a break. I'll wrap things up right after this.